hundreds of thousands of dollars is headed to the Stanton Winchester community in Baltimore City. That money is coming from the state. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring is in Federal Hill tonight with more on how the funds will be used. The state's Community Legacy Program provides resources for essential projects aimed at strengthening communities. Much of the money going to the Sandtown Winchester neighborhood will be used to revitalize that community. $710,000 is going into Baltimore's Sandtown Winchester neighborhood. The money is all coming from the state, and here's where it's going. A $500,000 grant goes to the Baltimore City Department of Housing and Community Development to revitalize the Gilmore Community Center. A $150,000 grant goes to Habitat for Humanity of the Chesapeake to transform blighted, vacant properties to increase home ownership and engage residents in neighborhood revitalization efforts. Those projects are being funded through the state's Community Legacy Program. $60,000 from the Governor's Office of Children is going to the Penn North Community Resource Center. We needed $80,000 to move the kids finally from this vacant laundromat to 5,000 square feet of a new facility, um, completely renovated child care center. Um, we'd raised $40,000. Erica Alston, director of the Penn North Kids Safe Zone, tells me the money from the Governor's Office will bridge the gap and then some. $10,000 for a new computer lab and an additional $10,000 for our supportive housing unit where we provide um, housing for ex-offenders. Alston hopes to move into the new space early next month and convert the current space into a laundromat for the 200 residents in the supportive housing program. Although the state funding came in right on time, the governor's office absolutely positively is providing the funding for us to move when no one else did. Alston says she still needs the community's help. It cost us um, almost $275,000 a year to run the Kids Safe Zone, so we still need support. This year, 59 projects in 19 counties, including Baltimore City, received a total of $6 million in community legacy grants. Reporting from Federal Hill, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.